Do you see that one down below in the middle? That one actually has cells on its body and it makes its own light. Glows in the dark. Yeah. That lives in the Philippines. The blue one lives in Hawaii. Now, as you see, Oh, I'm there. sorry. That's I, no problem. I'm going to take a picture of it because, uh, okay, here we go. Which one lives in Hawaii? The blue, the blue one, one, the bright blue one. That is called the blue worm or the traveling worm. Oh, I lived there for a long time. And it's kind of neat because they can process the volcanic glass. They're one of the only worms that can do that. And um, the, group, the brown one in the middle is the European, up above at the very top is the European nightcrawler. And that's used for fishing, you know, when you go when you go fishing and stuff, guys. That's what that is. Um, there's a red worm to the far right in the top. Yep, that's the red worm, and they use that for eating garbage. They eat garbage, you know, the stinky yeah. stuff that smells oh. bad. They turn the stinky stuff into good stuff to make your plants grow giant. Whoa. I mean giant, like you have one strawberry on the plant, and when you put this around, you'll have six strawberries on the same plant. And you know why that is? Why is that? It's energy. Close. Yes. It's a big word. You guys may not know why that is, because the plant does what's called photosynthesis, which means exactly what he said. Yes, little one. Oh, okay, Grayson, you have a question? Um, worms can... That's okay. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. <laughs> it, okay, um, all right. Now, what I was saying is, you know what earthworms do to make earthworms unique? What do they do? Um, do they, uh, like, hook the plant ball? Yes, they do. How do you think they do that? Um, yes. Them food. Exactly. And how do how how do they do that? Do you think? Okay. because um, they get water. Sort of. What it is is really funny, guys, because <laughs> I'm not good. There are a bunch of little guys, little living guys like you and I are alive. There are a bunch of little guys inside that earthworm. They're called microbes. And those little guys get in there and they work with the plant to protect the plant from the bad guys and keep the good guys in flavor so your plants can grow a giant. And it's not giant. That's the size that they normally grow because down here in the warm, in the tropical air, everything grows, including the things you cannot see, which you might be studying a few couple years down the road. But the little guys, you've got to take a microscope to see them. And when you look at the worm, the worm casings under or under the microscope, you see a bunch of different little guys in there that be all different shapes and sizes moving around. And those are the workers that get in there and help your plants grow and help your soil grow. It actually will turn, you know how you go out and you see the sand yeah. It'll turn this. Those little guys turn the sand into dirt all by themselves. Now it takes a little while, but it turns it into dirt. And you know, the dirt will, is what helps your plants grow. Kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Now, I'll tell you something that's interesting that you may, may or not. You may, this is a good part, this is the educational part. You may or may not know this. But an earthworm, you know how you've got one heart? Yeah. An earthworm can have between five and seven hearts. What? Yes. <laughs> and does anybody in this room, now this is going to be a big word. This is going to be a big word, guys. You may not know what this means, but I'll tell you. Does anybody know what the word regenerate means? You in the group. Exactly. That's exactly what it means. Regenerate means grow back. That is the exact definition. So, if I was an earthworm and I had my arm cut off, I could grow another one. They are the only land animal that can regenerate. So, if you cut a worm in half, you didn't kill him. He just 
can't have babies, but they make two separate worms. Two uh, living organisms out of one thing. Yep, that's called regeneration. Now, worms don't have babies like you, like we do. They have capsules, which are down in the far corner here, right there. Um, those, have, and they look like little amber footballs. They have the shape wrong there. They look like, and they're smaller than a grain of rice. Let me see if I have some pictures. Yes, I do. Here are the worm eggs. That's a dime, just to let you know. See how small they are? And you see my hand there? You see, that's a baby worm and a worm egg that I pulled out of the bin. That's, that's not, or is that something? That's dirt. That's dirt. That's dirt. Okay, so it's That's the worm egg, and that's the baby worm. That worm right there is probably three days old. Oh. Now, every week, an earthworm has what's called a capsule or a cocoon, and inside that little amber football that we were talking about is between five and 20, depending on the species of the worm little tiny worms in there and they stay in there until they get big enough to break through the cocoon and then when they do they look like little you ever seen a thread off your shirt <coughs> they look like that but they're moving around and you don't want to handle them guys do you know because if you handle them they'll die like newborn baby skin is very sensitive now you want to make sure let them sit for two or three days until their skin changes color, until the pink is color. When they're pinkish like that when they're in, that I'm holding, it's okay to hold. So, um, one thing about the earthworm that you may or may not know, and I'm not going to get too scientific, don't worry. Um, I'm going to keep, worms have remained unchanged for half a billion years. Do you know that we, as humans, have only been on this planet four million years? They've been there half a billion years. You know the big rock that came down from outer space and blew up the dinosaurs and all that stuff? The worms lived through that. Did you know every grain of sand that you see out there has been inside a worm at one point or another? Worms live in the water. They live in the ocean. They live in the Arctic. There are worms that can freeze solid and come back to life. Yeah. So they're kind of interesting animals. They are the second oldest living thing on the planet. This, now this is beyond you guys right now. You guys should know this. But the oldest thing is the jellyfish. Just to let you know. The oldest thing. That's where. So, anyhow, that wasn't too bad, was it? Great. I love uh, it. Okay, okay. I didn't want to get too bad. But uh, let's see. Uh, I don't is look at them very often. Is oh, this a, a here's something. Here? Is that, that is now that this is that is when they have a white collar like that. You know they're old enough to have babies. They're adults oh, now. Okay. That's how you can tell the difference between them and other more and the ones that aren't grown. They won't have that white collar. It's called oh, a patellum. Now. This is not Photoshop either, guys, and I know you're not going to believe me. You're not going to believe me, I know. But this is real, I and mean, I'm not kidding. What? This is real. <coughs> now, I'll explain what these are. No way. Now, you see those guys there? These are the three biggest earthworms in the world. The one you see at the top was shot in South Africa for undermining the interstate. That is the African jungle worm. They get, they get 26 feet long. What? Yep. Have, have, I, have you seen this? Yep. Have you seen this? It's not a real one, no. Oh, wow. But, uh, but you gotta go to it. But the thing about it is, you ever see, who's seen the movie Tremors in here? Okay, this is like Tremors, except they don't eat people. Because worms cannot eat people, you know why? They've got very small mouths. You, does anybody know what, what a shop vac is? Yes. All right. An earthworm sucks it up like a big vacuum cleaner, runs through the body, they grind it up with grinders so the plant doesn't have to break down the food. The earthworm does it for them. That's what makes them so good. Now, over here is the worm from Australia. It's called the gypsum worm, and they get nine feet long. It's longer than us. 
And in the far corner there, you see that guy with the stick holding up the worm? Yeah. That's him. Yeah. You know where the Amazon is in South America? Yeah. No. No. Well, it's down south, and it's a giant oh, it's jungle. It's a big one. Oh, and it's, they get 16 feet long. It's the, it's and they live in the jungle because the more leaves and stuff that the earthworm has, the bigger he's going to get. Now, the, the one thing that you got to remember about the earthworm, the earthworm needs moisture to live. So, what you want to make sure is if you're growing the earthworms in a bucket like I did, like I got here that I'll show you in a minute, is you got to keep it like a damp sponge. Kind of like that. If it's any drier than that, you want to add. Yeah, bud. Um, the one on top, like the yeah. huge one. Where does it live? South Africa. Lives in Africa. Kind of yeah, cool, I huh? Want to go there. Yeah, a little one. Maybe um, we can feed it. Yeah. And they can't hurt you at all. Can they be different colors? Yes, they can. Every color you can imagine. Reds, purples, greens, but they cannot be two colors. They're just solid colors. Yes? Um, like, if the mouse is still there, if that, Yes. Like now, you see the end there that's kind of flat? Uh -huh. That's the mouth, and that's the vacuum that I was telling you about? Yeah, buddy. Um, how does it regenerate? Very simple. It has, uh, I don't want to get too scientific. Okay, let's see. It has a chemical. Does everybody know what the word chemical means? Yes. yes. Okay. It has a chemical in its body. It's called an enzyme. And the chemical will help the cells, like you have cells on your skin, yeah. it will help the cells regenerate or make more cells. Now, did that make sense? Uh -huh. Yes. That makes sense? Yes. 